Hello again. Today I will be discussing the four branches of earth science, just kind of going over it real quick. Um, we'll start with the farthest away from us. Looking outward is astronomy. So the the branch of earth science dealing with astronomy, we're looking in outer space. We're looking at planets, the solar system, galaxies, and beyond. So we're looking beyond our earth. Um, meteorology is just underneath that so we're looking at the atmosphere which is our protective bubble we're looking at weather we're looking at climate we're looking at um, atmospheric circulation so wind patterns moving around things like that oceanography that's fairly self-explanatory since it has the word ocean in it we're looking at ocean currents we're looking at um, underneath the ocean marine ecosystems um, interacting with the ocean as well and last but certainly not least, and my favorite, is geology because we're looking at landforms and, wait for it, rocks. Rocks and minerals, which are the essentials and also the most exciting, in my opinion, part of earth science. So in each of these branches of earth science, um, there are specific careers that look to each of these things. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention geo is means earth so it's looking at the earth okay all right and nasa is like an earth and space science organization so they have tons of satellites um, they have tons of missions that deal both um with astronomy which they're mostly known for but also with things on earth they measure soil they measure which would be geology they measure the atmosphere, weather patterns, which would be a strong, oh, no, meteorology. Got it there. They're looking at oceans. They're looking at phytoplankton, which would be oceanography. So you can kind of see, and all these things are interacting with one another. So it's important to look at the whole puzzle as well as each individual piece. And NASA does a good job of that.